This is the Noevsbig Magnetic Helping Hands Soldering Station with Lamp. Let's take it out of the box. There is a lot included in this kit. Here is the instruction manual. Rubber pad and rubber feet. This here is a metal plate that acts as your base. Pretty thick and heavy stuff. They give you the light over here. You do warm white, neutral white, cool white. Hooks up USB and they give you the power adapter as well. So you have all of that. Everything here is going to be magnetic to go on to the base. They give you four of these guys over here. As you see, they're all bendy, gooseneck design, any angle that you need, just like that, very simple. So you got four of those, and I know you're looking at that saying, well, what do you do with that? Not a problem, it's all right here. Alligator clips that can attach to that. Then you got circuit board stands. Let's see if I could pull these out over here, give you an idea, take them apart. If there are holes in your circuit board, you can arrange these and have your circuit board sit. I'll demonstrate those to you a bit later. They give you a vise right over here, magnetic once again. You put a circuit board in there or whatever you need, just like that. Open that up, close it, whatever. And over here is, they call it a hot air gun holder. You can have it hold anything that you want. That goes with this here. So this can screw on. So let's get that together for just a second. And like that, as you can see, this can open and hold whatever you want in there with the jaws. And they do have rubber on them as such. I'll give you a better demonstration of all of this stuff here uh, in a minute. So what I think I want to do at this point is put everything together for you and give you a real world example. I'll show you the light first and then we'll get everything else together. So we'll start with the light. Like I said, it's magnetic so you can put that on the board anywhere you want. You have a little control fob over here. We can turn it on and you have your different color temperatures as you see right there. So there's your warm white, cool white, neutral white, and then you can dim that down or brighten it up. And for the surface you're going to be looking at, as you can see my hand there, it'll do just great with that. This is also a magnifier, as you see right there. So that is a 3x magnifier on that. I'll give you a little bit better demonstration of that. So here's an old RAM chip that's been sitting around forever. And there you go, right there. Let me uh, kill the light. I think that might be better for the exposure, just to give you the idea right there. So that can act as a magnifier. And of course the camera and the way it all works with that, your eyes are going to see this a lot better than the camera does. But there is a 3x magnifier in there to help with those real real tight soldering jobs. Then you get the vise. Just to show these magnets are really strong like that. Let's open this up and we'll use the same ram chip because it's here. Put that in and we can clamp that in the vise and that holds it real nice just like that. So that's pretty cool right there so you have that. And the circuit board holder, the little pins on it, allow me to place this in just the right spot so it'll sit like that. This is not the most ideal setup for it, this RAM chip, but just to give you the idea that you can do that with these little points that go into whatever it is. And like I said, everything is magnetic, stays where you put it. The alligator clips go together like this. You just slip it in the end right there. There is a hole. There it is right there. And I have the little thumb screw for it. So we just line that up. Screw that in. You can screw it down tight 
or loosen it and you can rotate that wherever you need just like that so with those now you can stick these wherever you want bend them to wherever you need and there you go now it can hold anything that you need we only need really two for this chip obviously but we can do that and it can hold it right there and it's pretty stable just like that not too bad right there so that can hold your stuff and again these can be bent whatever angle if you want it closer to the to the bottom plate here you can do that clip it in that kind of stuff there and one more thing to show you this is the holder for they call it for a hot air gun uh, depends on what you're going to be putting in here you can put your soldering iron in there obviously not the hot part because that wouldn't work uh, interesting design I was looking at this thing and I'm like wait a minute whoa, whoa whoa what's how does this all work it's absolutely ingenious that goes on that's obvious and then you can go and bend it but here's the interesting thing when you loosen that the entire thing just turns into you know totally loose in any way so you put it anywhere you want just like that and then tighten it up and then all of the joints and everything become stiff the ball joints become stiff all of that right there to hold that and of course this can angle as such as well like that and now you can hold something like your iron in there I'll show you so here's a vintage Weller soldering iron that I'm going to be using so you can put it in there that's clamped a little tight you want to be able to you know grab it out of there and work on stuff so you can do that and then put your iron back obviously don't burn yourself as you do that the iron right now is not plugged in but that could work to hold that or better a hot air gun if you're doing surface mount surface level board level stuff like that would also be great because the heat gun itself is not really going to have uh, a hot outside or a hot anything like that to, to burn yourself on so let's go and solder a couple of wires together give you an idea we'll set up the light a couple alligator clips all that kind of stuff and I'll show you how it'll work in real usage okay so here would be a typical setup that you would have so I have the light here I have that on two alligator clips on the uh, goosenecks like that the holder for the soldering iron soldering iron is heating up right now let's say that this wire were a lot longer and connected elsewhere and we needed to repair it because it got broken in some way so what we can do is twist these wires together over here first and then we can go ahead and put this in the alligator clips as such just like that so there is the joint that needs soldering we can now take our soldering iron I'm going to solder backwards because I'm right-handed so I'm going to use the left hand for the iron uh, not the greatest uh, for me because I do have vision problems with this but with the magnifier looking in there man that is pretty good right there so let's go and get this wire heated up and soldered there we go get that joint nice and hot hit it just a little bit more And there we go and now we can hang the iron back up in there always keep it with the tip up if you're using an iron like that because if you have it point down besides the fact that it's tapered the wrong way if you have it point down the handle of the iron is going to get all heated up and it's not going to be a good time 
this is cool enough now that I can remove that. There is our soldered wire right there. You can of course go and put heat shrink tubing on that now or anything. This again was just a quick thing for demonstration purposes. Nice and strong, will not pull apart. And again, using the magnifier, you can see much easier to do the work that you need to. So all around you have just everything you could possibly imagine. The magnifier is great, especially for me, because like I said, I don't see as well as I used to. The holder for your hot air gun or your iron is really nice. You have your vise over here. I'll put the solder in there just to do it for something here to have it hold. In fact, we'll put it this way. It'll just be easier like that. Almost there. There we go, nice and solid. We have two more alligator clips that we can put up there like that for, whoops, I got something on there. There we go, because everything's magnetic. And then of course you have your circuit board holders like that that you can use and now obviously it's a jumbled mess with all of this stuff but you pick and choose what you need if you don't need that there then you take it off you don't need these guys then you take those off you know and make your work surface nice and clean take out what you don't need leave what you do you can even use that for your solder to help you solder stuff I could have done that before I didn't think that one through but anyway, you get the general idea all around. So once again, this was the Noev's Big Magnetic Helping Hands Soldering Station with Lamp. If you'd like to purchase this item, I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find the item available for sale on Amazon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.